In this video, I'm going to show you how to use my pattern to make a chain. I am filling in the links without outlining them, and you might have to adjust the paper to get the best angle for your hand or pen. And don't touch the filament with your bare fingers. I'm always tempted to do that a lot, and it does burn you and it does hurt, so do not do that. Um, there's, there are little silicone thimbles available that you can use to protect your finger instead of getting it burned. And you can see here that I leave some of the links open so that I can put the chain links all together later. This type of chain is called a cable chain and there's many different types of chains. The type that you would find on a bicycle is called a roller chain and a few more other types are called leaf or flat top chains. When I am ready to put the chain together I grab two solid links and then put them inside of a partial link. Then I'm going to lay it back down on the pattern and finish up that, that unfinished link. While I'm waiting for that to cool, I'm going to make another one that's just like that one. You could also just put partial links one at a time at the end of the chain, but this way is way more efficient than doing it one at a time. And once these two mini chains start to cool down, we can combine those two by taking the end links and putting them inside of a partial chain link and then finishing that off. And we're just going to keep repeating this same pattern and making more links until the chain is as long as we want. And we're just going to make sure to grab the ends of the chains before combining them together. Chains normally are rated for their strength. That is called their maximum load capacity, which is the weight that they can support without breaking. This little plastic chain is going to have a very, very low load capacity, which means it's going to break really easily. However, steel chains can have a very high load capacity, and it really depends on their design, their size, and the material that the chain is made out of. Some of the strongest chains can support tens of thousands of pounds. The most extreme chains in the world are used in mining or construction, and they can even support several hundred thousand pounds. Chains can also be used for more than just lifting or pulling. You can combine chains with pulleys or gears, and that can help a machine do its work. Next, I'm going to show you how to make the smaller chain size, and I'm just going to follow the exact same principles that I did before. I'm going to leave some chain links open and make some solid. These links are going to take some practice to, to be able to form them. They're kind of small and they're a little bit tricky, but don't give up. The trick for me was focusing on when I started and when I stopped pushing that button on the pen. And now I am going to do the same thing as before as well, where I just take two solid links and one partial link and put them inside. And I'm just going to hold these up in the air while I just do a tiny little tack of plastic across that gap. And it cools pretty quickly where it's just one small little piece. And I take the end of the chain and a solid link and put the partial link around it and close that gap. 